My name is Ishal Abdul Halain. Welcome to my video on the branch on condition codes instruction. Part 2. Let's begin. Let's study the branch greater equal instruction. It is used to determine if an operand is greater to or equal than another operand. This instruction initiates a branch if the condition code is 1. It will not branch otherwise. The general syntax is BGE label. The condition code is N, and V, ORD with N bar, and B bar. Here is an example on how the BGE instruction is used. Notice how a compare instruction is placed before the BGE instruction. When compare.ld0d1 is executed, the data values in d0 and d1 are compared as follows. The destination is subtracted by the source operand, and the result is not saved in the destination. However, the status register is affected, because a subtraction operation has been carried out. The BGE instruction is executed next. It checks the N and V flags value according to its condition code. If the condition code is 1, then, the instruction JSRA0, attached to label loop is executed. If not, then the instructions following the BGE instruction are executed next. Let's check out a program called data greater than 8. Its purpose is to scan through memory one byte at a time, and count the number of times it encounters data with value that is greater than or equal to 8. If the value it encounters is less than 8, the program will resume scanning. When it encounters a value that is greater or equal to 8, a counter is incremented by 1. Then, it'll resume to scan for new data, and the process repeats. This is the program's flow chart. The first box is to initialize Hey0 to 2000. Hey0 is going to be our address pointer. Next, a byte of data from memory is read into register D0 using the move instruction. This instruction is attached to label loop. Then, the data in D0 is compared to 8, using a compare instruction, this instruction will affect the status register flags. The next instruction is BGE higher. When executed, it will use the status register to check its condition code that is given by this boolean expression, if it is 0, then the next instruction, BRA loop, is executed. The program branches back to label loop. However, if the condition code value is 1, then the program flow branches to label higher. When this occurs, register D1 is incremented by 1 using an add instruction. D1 will be a counter that counts the number of times that the data checked is greater or equal to 8. Then, it moves to the BRA loop instruction. Note that the program never ends because how the loops are designed. This is called an infinite loop. Here is the assembly language program from our flowchart. Let's look how the program is executed. At the top, we have memory. It is showing 16 bytes of data starting at address 2000. Our program will start scanning from here. Next, we have the addresses of the instructions. Note that we have label start, which points to address 1028, which is the address of the first instruction. Next, we have a label loop, attached to the move.bha0, d0 instruction, at address 102e. We have one more label, higher, pointing to address 103a that holds the add instruction. Here, we have our program counter, to track our program execution. Then, we have address register A0, which is our address pointer. Next, we have data register D0, that acts as our data container. Here, we will determine whether data from memory is larger or equal to 8. Beneath D0, we have data register D1. It is used as our counter. It will be incremented by 1 each time the data tested in D0 is larger or equal to 8. To make things simple, I am assuming that D1 is initially reset to 0. Finally, we have the status register, or also known as the condition code register. Upon execution, the instruction at address 1028 is pointed to by the program counter. The program counter is then updated to point at the next instruction at address 102e. Then, the instruction at 1028 is executed. 2000 is loaded into register A0. The status register is updated to 00000 because of the result of the move instruction. 
the program counter is now pointing to address 102E. Before executing the instruction, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address, 1030. Next, the instruction move.ba0 plus comma d0 is executed. Since a0 is pointing to address 2000, the corresponding data, which has a value of 1, is copied into register d0. The status register is updated to 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 because of the result of the move command. Then, a0 is incremented by 1. The program counter is now pointing at address 1030. Before executing the instruction, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Next, the compare instruction to compare the immediate value 8 with the contents of D0 is executed, the 68k subtracts 1 from 8 resulting in negative 7. This causes the status register to be updated to 01001 because the result is a negative number, and, a borrow into the MSB was required to perform the subtract operation. The program counter is now pointing to address 1034, and is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Once this is done, the BGE higher instruction is executed, this instruction causes the condition codes for BGE to be evaluated. The condition codes are N and V, ORD with N bar, and B bar, the result is zero. Thus, a branch to label higher is not done. Instead, the next instruction at address 1038 will be executed. Before executing the BRA loop instruction at address 1038, the program counter is updated to the next address, 103A. Once this is done, the branch always instruction is executed. This causes the program counter to be loaded with loop's value, 102E. Thus, we will branch back to loop. Note that the data from memory we tested in the cycle was less than A. Thus, register D1 was not incremented, indicating that the data checked in the cycle was less than A. I hope you are following along. Let's continue. The program counter is now pointing to address 102E. Before executing the instruction, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Then, the instruction move.ba0 plus comma d0 is executed. Since a0 is pointing to address 2001, the corresponding data, which has a value of 8, is copied into register d0. The status register is updated to 0000. 000, 000, 000. Next, the address register is incremented by 1. The program counter is now pointing at address 1030. Before executing the instruction at this address, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Then, the compare instruction is executed. This time, the two data values being compared are the same, the 68k knows this by subtracting 8 from 8, resulting in 0. This causes the status register to be updated to 00100 because the result is a 0. The program counter is now pointing to address 1034. Before executing the instruction at this address, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Then, the BGE higher instruction is executed, this instruction causes the condition codes for BGE to be evaluated, and, the result is 1. Thus, a branch to label higher is done by updating the program counter with the address of 103A. The program has now branched to the label higher. Before executing the add instruction, the program counter's value is updated to point to the next instruction, at address 103C. Then, the addition instruction is executed. D1 is incremented to 1, indicating that the data compared has a value that is greater or equal to 8. The status register is updated to 0000, 000, 000, 000 because the addition process resulted in a positive non-zero number. The program counter now is pointing to address 103C. Before executing the instruction BRA loop at this address, the program counter is updated to the next address, 1042. Once this is done, the instruction is executed, the branch always instruction changes the program counter to point at loop's address, 102E. We are going to branch back to loop. I will show you one more loop because I think that you have got the idea by now. Let's continue.
The program counter is now pointing to address 102E. Before executing the instruction at this address, the program counter is updated to the next instructions address. Next, the corresponding instruction is executed. The data at address 2002, which has a value of 9, is copied into register D0. The status register is updated to 0000, 000, 000, 000 because, the data value moved is a positive non-zero number. Next, the address register is incremented by 1. The program counter is now pointing at address 1030. Before executing the instruction, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Next, the compare instruction is executed. This time, we see that 9 is clearly higher than 8. The 68K knows this by subtracting 8 from 9, resulting in 1. This causes the status register to be updated to 0000, 000, 000, 000 because the result is a non-zero positive number. Upon completion, we see that the program counter is pointing to address 1034. Before executing the instruction at this address, the program counter is updated to point to the next instruction's address. Once this is done, the BGE higher instruction is executed, this instruction causes the condition codes for BGE to be evaluated. This time the result is also 1. Thus, a branch to label higher is done by updating the program counter with the address of label higher, 103A. The program counter is now pointing to 103A. Before it is executed, the program counter's value is updated to point to the next instruction. Then only the instruction at 103A is executed. D1 is incremented by 1. Its value is now 2, signifying that 2 bytes of data has a value that is equal to or greater than 8. The status register is updated to 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 because the addition process resulted in a positive non-zero number. The program counter now is pointing to address 103C. Before executing the instruction BRA loop at address 103C, the program counter is updated to the next address 1042. Once this is done, the instruction is executed. The program will continue repeating this process of reading data from memory, comparing it with the value 8, and branching to increment a counter if the data is greater or equal to 8. We have seen how data with value equal or greater than 8 can be detected using a compare instruction followed by a BGE instruction. So, I think you are clear now on how the BGE and BRA instructions work. I hope you also noticed how the fetch execute cycle is carried out using the program counter, and how the program counter is changed before executing an instruction it is pointing to, and how it changes when a BCC instruction is executed. That's all we have for you in this video. Thank you for your attention, hope to see you in future videos, have a wonderful day.